I do. Congratulations, fellas. Coach, whenever you're settled, if you'd like to just give some thoughts on tonight's victory, that'd be great. Thank you very much. Well, I thought that was a uh, what a Sweet 16 game would look like. It was pretty much what I expected. Uh, my hat's off to TJ and Iowa State. Uh, what an incredible year. Um, when you face the number one defense, uh, you know they're not number one because they're soft or lack effort. Uh, you know, I felt really good at half. Uh, we missed 102 free throws, I think, and some wide open shots, and we were up 10. Uh, so I thought our defense was, was, was really, really good, but I, but I also knew they would come out and, and punch and, and or counter punch, and, and they did that. Um, unique night having Coleman in foul trouble uh, for, for certain parts of the game and then having, uh, having TJ in foul trouble. Um, I, I loved our resiliency playing through that, those moments, especially without uh, TJ on the court. Uh, we had a pretty long segment with actually TJ and Coleman out. But um, uh, we made plays when we had to down the stretch. We got a couple stops when we had to. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm – Super uh, excited and proud. We didn't come here to win one game. We came here to win two um, and uh, to uh, uh, advance to the lead eight is, is, is special and uh, uh, we've got a great challenge. Uh, we'll dive into them sometime about 3 a.m. when we get back and uh, be ready to go for UConn on, uh, on Saturday. So uh, excited. Thank you, Coach. Take a question right up here up front. Right, you got right here. Yep. Jeremy Warner on Enquirer, Brad and Coleman, just to win this game with defense, doing it with grittiness like that, what'd that mean, um, given that Brad, I think you've been looking for that all year? Well, we were really good early. You know, probably through our first eight to 10 games, we were a top 10 team defensively, and, and, and we were quite literally struggling on the offensive end, and then we, we flipped that script and, you know, and had the number one offense, and it, and it became easy sometimes uh, and outscore people. But, uh, uh, you know, we have a saying in our program that, that offense wins games, defense wins championships, and, and these guys are all mature, old. Uh, they've been through it and, and understood. And tonight, um, tonight we did that, and we'll, we'll have to continue to do that to, uh, to keep playing. Uh, okay, let's go ahead. Uh, personally, I feel like uh, it's um, the biggest thing is trying to maintain the same level of physicality. Uh, I feel like. You know, at times we were physical, running them off screens, you know, trying to lock and trail. And then uh, we saw when, you know, we got tangled up a few times. We got some personal fouls. And um, so I think our biggest thing is maintaining that, that same level of intensity and physicality um, and then staying true to our principles, forcing tough twos. And uh, I think it, it, the game plan tonight worked, you know, forcing those tough twos, making them shoot some tough shots. Thank you. Right here in front. Zach Brazil, New York Post. Brett. Terrence was out for about, I guess, six minutes there, comes back in with five minutes left, immediately hits a three, has the steal late. What did you just think, for, especially for a guy, when you sit there, could, you could get cold. What did you just think of how he closed that game out for you? Well, again, and, and, and people who know Terrence know what a great, great competitor he is and, and how he's, um, he, he loves to win at everything. And, uh, you know, to do that cold, um, you know, shows he stayed in the game mentally. Uh, and he was always cheering and, and, and excited in the timeouts and on the bench. So he was dialed in mentally. And, uh, you know, that's not an easy thing to do is step in and bury a three. And uh, um, it was a big one. And uh, um, I debated whether to put him in that early. I, I usually try to wait till the under four. But uh, uh, you're in the Sweet 16, so you got to roll with your dudes. And, and, uh, and then the steal was, was, uh, very timing. It was, was great timing as well. Right here front right. Brian Teague, CEO of Student Sports. This question is for Brad. Brad, when um, you just have a player like Coleman just getting it done on both ends of the floor, just can you just talk about the impact it does for the team? Yeah, I mean, his versatility allows us to do so much. I mean, he, he made plays off the bounce tonight. You know, we put him into our pistol action. Uh, you know, he, I think he found Luke for a, for a skip. I think it's 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 matchup based when we, when we really like that. They ro rotated a double at him. Uh, you know, he's got the ability to shoot threes. I wish he'd shoot more of them. Um, some a little closer to the line, but, uh, uh, but you know, and then 
what he does on the defensive side is you know kind of the quarterback of our defense from 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 back there. So uh, his intelligence, his 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 toughness, his savvy, uh, and then his versatility all have allowed him to 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 have a great great seniors campaign. Your left, John. John Fanta, Fox Sports. Question for Marcus and Luke. They keep on chipping away. They get within two a couple of times. You hit a big AM one going into a timeout. You hit a big three as well. In those moments, why does this Illinois team keep finding ways to, to counter and fight through it? Yeah, I think it's just uh, <clears throat> what we've been through all season. Uh, you know, we have a super mature team. I know Coach talks about it all the time. And uh, when you get in situations like that, the guys that were on the court have basically seen it all. I mean, you talk about Dane, who this is his fourth year in college now, you know, um, at Baylor now is, uh, you know, second and a half year, so he knows what to expect. You got Coleman, who's had four years here, Marcus, who's a fifth year senior, and TJ, who's a fifth year senior. So, uh, you know, myself, who's, who's been in college now for three years. So when you have that level of maturity and, uh, you know, sense of, uh, you know, it's almost like you've been there before. You, you kind of know how to perform in those situations, so you, you know how to step up uh, when, when the team needs you. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it's really easy during those runs for for teams to kind of fall apart because they start trying to, you know, make home run plays and do their own thing. And I think our team is, you know, as Luke talked about, we're just a veteran team. And when teams go on run, I think it, we come together more than uh, – we do normally uh so i think we just stay together and we just trust what we do you know we we work on stuff that we do every day and we just continue to do what we do every day and eventually we just get our run back do you have a follow-up john Sorry. Real quick. just a quick follow-up to that brad when you hear that from these guys i know ncaa tournament sweet 16 there's nerve-wracking moments but do you find yourself like with the veterans that you've got more comfortable in knowing that these are the guys you have on the floor and, and that they can play through virtually anything? Yeah, I'll give you a one, a one answer or a one question or one word answer. Yes. It's, it's, it, it's, it's comforting to know that you, you don't, you don't, you know what they're going to do and, 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 and they're going to execute and they're going to run their play and, and uh, they're going to try to get the best, the best shot or the, the best stop or whatever. So I got tremendous amount of confidence in, in what these guys do. Back left. Annie Costable from the Chicago Sun-Times. The prize for tonight's win is a meeting with UConn as great as they've been over the last two years. This question's for the players. Um, is that a daunting task at all, intimidating in any way? Go ahead, Coleman. Um, I wouldn't say it's, it's necessarily intimidating, but... Um, I think it's. I think we have. Uh, well, personally, I have more of a respect for them. Um, you know, uh, I think it's a higher level of uh, respect. Um, I think they've been playing great all year. Um, I think they're well coached, uh, and they do what they do. Um, and you know, as we learn more about them, you know, I'll become much more familiar with them. But definitely have a a, a, a higher level of respect for them and and their culture and what they do. Marcus or Luke, anything else? Yeah, uh, I agree. You know, a lot of respect to them and for everything they've done. Uh, but we've played a lot of college basketball. You know, I've played a lot of teams that are supposed to beat us. You know, if you want to say they're supposed to beat us. Uh, and I guess, you know, we'll figure out how to how to guard them and how to score on them, but they got to do the same for us. So, you know, it's just it's just another game, really. Thanks, guys. Is it time for three more, maybe? Right here in the middle? Yeah. Matt Stevens, Alana, guys. Brad, when Terrence had to leave with 11 to go, you've constantly said that you, when he was out for six games, you were a top 10 nationally offense. So were you more worried offensively or defensively in losing him for those six minutes? Both. Um, I, you know, I'll be honest, defensively. Um, you know, that's, a, that's a, uh, um, an elite defender that's, that's not in the game. And uh, uh, Gilbert got going. Uh, we went bigger. We had Coleman. Um, you know, guarding more on the perimeter uh, during that during that segment. Um, Luke was guarding fours, and and uh, so it was a little bit of a, of a different look. But uh, you know, I always feel like offensively we're, we'll we'll find ways to score, and 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 we did that, and we had great spacing. Um, you know, whether it was Luke's threes, whether it was Nan one, whether it was uh, an offensive rebound, whether it was Dane a couple of times, uh, we'll, we'd find ways. But I, I always 
get a little bit concerned about um, uh, the defensive side when, when he's not in. Right here in front right. Uh, this question is for Marcus. Marcus, in the first half, uh, you were getting trapped pretty well there. But I saw you kept finding Charis moving opposite ball. Is that just something that you guys have just worked on together just over the course of the season? Or just what brings that symmetry? Yeah, uh, you know, I think we've played teams that guard similar to them. And we knew what to expect. So, you know, a lot of our offense tonight was just, you know, having them double me and then pass out of it. And then from there, guys make plays. So we were just kind of really inviting the doubles because then, you know, you're playing advantage basketball on the backside. Take one last question here front. Luke, uh, you talked about last time you guys had four games left. I saw Terrence when you guys won, put up number three or three games left. What's giving you guys that mindset that, that you can make that kind of run and, and get to where you've gotten? Yeah, it's the, it's the confidence in our teammates and the, the why not us mindset. You know, we put in so much work in the off season. Uh, starting back in Spain, you know, we're practicing over the summer. Uh, we, if we prepare for this, this is what you prepare for. You know, it's super exciting to have the opportunity to go play the number one team in the country, um, you know, in the Elite Eight. You, you, you can't ask for anything better, honestly. It's, it's a blessing for all of us to have that opportunity. So, you know, all the hard work we put in, um, you know, has, has kind of led us to this moment. We're excited for it. Excellent. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Good luck against UConn. Thank you very much. Tip off.